We're going to use three different types of visual indicators. We'll use a hand every time I tap. Every time I hit a button on the outside of the device, we'll give you an icon. And we're going to use arrows to help point out key information on screen. VoiceOver can be used as an effective navigational tool on the iPad. So in this particular scenario, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to a separate page, and then I'm going to launch an app. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe over my page navigation. One of nine. Adjustable. That highlights my page navigation. Finger to adjust the value. And I'm going to double tap to move to the next page. Page two of nine. Adjustable. And I'm going to double tap again to move to the next page. Page three of nine. Adjustable. And let's say I wanted to launch the Alphabet app. Now the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to swipe and stop my finger at the point of the app and let go. So I'm going to swipe and then stop. And what I did was it selected the Alphabet. And then now I just am going to double tap anywhere on the screen and it actually launches the app. One of the key usage scenarios for VoiceOver is reading email back to the user. So what I have here is I have my email open. I you can see that I get email from eBay. And I'm just going to go through how you might process email and using the rotor, how I change some of those settings. So right now, if I swipe to the right, it'll start reading line by line. So let me do that. eBay sent this message to Sammy Ronan, Swim in 2000. OK. And so if I want to change the rotor, let's say instead of reading it from left to right, top to bottom, I wanted to sort of scroll through it a little bit faster. I mean, I can I want to scroll through. I'm going to use the rotor to change. There's characters words. And again, all these settings are changeable in my settings, in my rotor settings. But uh, let, me, let me try to find. So this will just jump from link to link, which is pretty interesting. That can be very useful. Form control and a vertical navigation. So I'm going to start swiping down. You're registered. Still looking for. You saved Drift in as something you are looking for. Large adult full-size Rift and gate trainer. Alarm chest prompt extra handles. Image. Now notice when I, uh, so I was there, I was scrolling down vertically. I'm going to scroll to the right, and it actually reads the content in the image. Adult Rift and Gatewalker slash trainer great condition foldable. Right. Tells me that it's an image. Um, I can then read the text or the links underneath it as well. But uh, the idea here is that is one of the settings that you turn on and off uh, inside the system if that's something you so desire. Another key usage scenario for voiceover is web surfing. So as you can see on this page, there are a lot of links and a lot of information. So as I'm moving left to right, um, I may want to skip over some of that information. So I'll just sort of go through normally, and then I'll use the rotor. This would be normally going through every line item left to right. But I, then I can use the rotor here uh, to change to characters or words. I'm going to go to links. Links. So now I'm going to use the voiceover to just switch from link to link. And turns out the stars are a link. All reviews button is a link. So in this particular area, notice how I jumped from customer review all the way down to the sellers, uh, and then one used. And I can now keep jumping down the page. So, so by switching to links, what I've done is I'm now navigating the page faster. I could do the same thing with headings, maybe a little bit more effective, especially with blogs or lines, and I can just skip lines real quick. And and then as I get down to where I want, let's say I want to read the section, then I can turn my rotor to something else, maybe vertical navigation. Now remember, there are two control elements. I can always go left to right by swiping left and right. And then I can use the rotor to have a secondary navigation, like line by line, vertical navigation, and so forth. But this becomes a really effective way of using a voiceover to read a web page. For more information, go to iPads for Special Needs Book.com where you'll find more videos, other resources like cheat sheets, and a book on how to use the iPad for your special needs user. Mm -hmm.